today some of the young women from my ward came and visited Olivia today and got to hold her and got to see her and talk to her and she loved being held by them so much. I had this like feeling or like maybe, I don't know what it was, but just that like somebody was gonna take my baby. We're a young growing family living in the crossroads of the West, the beautiful state of Utah. Each day we share our family adventures with you. Watch as we grow our family and enjoy the simplest and greatest moments that capture our life story. Joshua, Kylie, and Olivia. Welcome to our family vlog. So today, some of the young women from my ward came and visited Olivia today and got to hold her and got to see her and talk to her and she loved being held by them so much. This is Lily and this is Kira. Kira, she has six kids in her family and she's the second oldest girl. So she's like a pro with babies. And Lily, she's like the second oldest in her family and she's like the only girl in her family. And Olivia will just like love to snuggle up next to her. She used to babysit her cousin when he was a baby and so she's like the ultimate baby whisperer and like Olivia will just be so good and quiet with her. She's so good. Yeah, do you want to say the new lesson too? Huh? Do you like being held by Lily and Kira? Yeah? So right now, baby Olivia is two and a half weeks and she is officially going through the two week grow spurt. Look at those lips. She has been eating literally non-stop. Like I'm not even producing almost enough milk for her. Like literally every hour and a half hour she wants to eat and she'll eat like three ounces. Like I'm like, girl, where are you putting it? She's eating so much and growing so much. Did we mention that in the last week she's already gained like a pound? And our pediatrician was like, if she keeps gaining weight like this, she's gonna be a really chunky girl. But she's still looking really healthy and really good, so I guess we'll just keep feeding her every hour or so, hopefully that this will end soon. So every time we go to the pediatrician, she gives me a questionnaire to fill out that has like 10 questions on it, and it's just a wellness survey for mom and dad. And every time I do it, I say I'm really happy, everything's going great, and everything is going really good. Like postpartum has been really good for me. But there has been like two things that I wanna talk about because I think Olivia will one day watch these videos and she'll be like, oh my gosh, I feel this way too. Anyway, when we brought Olivia home, I started like having these really weird dreams of like me dropping Olivia or Josh dropping Olivia or like Olivia falling and getting hurt. And I was so scared and really nervous. Like it made me have like anxiety. I was freaking out thinking, oh my gosh, what if somebody drops Olivia? Like, and it wasn't just like drop her on the bed or drop her on the floor. Like we live on the fifth floor in an apartment building and I kept having this really weird dream that there was like a fire in our building and there's gonna be no way to get out other than to jump off our railing and somebody was gonna tell me, you're gonna have to just drop your baby into the firefighter's arms. Like, I had this dream literally like two or three times and I was so scared and so sad. So there's that that I had anxiety about. And then the second thing was, um, I had this like feeling, or like maybe, I don't know what it was, but just that like somebody was gonna take my baby. Like I just don't know if I was like overly protective, or I was like just worried about Olivia's safety, or what it was. But like, people would be like, oh your baby's so cute, and I would like hold her closer to me. Like, thank you. Don't get away from my baby. No, and like people would be like, well, you know, if your baby goes missing, she's with me. And I would be like, uh, I'm not letting my baby out of my sight. Or people would be like, I don't know. We just like saw people randomly and they'd be like, your baby is so adorable. I wish I could just take her home with me. And I literally would be like, Josh, I think that they're being serious. 
I think they really want our baby. Josh is like, no, Kylie, like you're just being super irrational, like not true at all. But for me, I literally was like, no, they want our baby. Like I had anxiety thinking about it. So it's like settled down now. Now I'm like, ah, it's fine, it's okay. Like she's right here next to me. She's not leaving my side. Like she's my baby. But like the first, I don't know, first week or so, I was like really freaked out about it. And those are like the only two things that I really experienced like having a change of mindset or something. I don't know what it was, but I still a little sometimes think like, no, that's my baby. Nobody's taking my baby, but I'm not worried about her falling anymore. It's just so weird. Like the emotions that you feel like after you're done being pregnant and like becoming a new mom and everything. It's like you completely change in such a good way. Guys, daily update on the air conditioning. It's still not working. The air conditioning is still broken. Look at the temperature of our house right now. 80 degrees. We never keep our house 80 degrees. Our house is like 70 at the highest. So this heat today literally killed me. I was in the worst mood, like felt ill, felt stomach sick. Like I felt sick all day today because it was so hot in here. And I think the baby did too. The baby just had an off day. I had an off day. Today was an odd day. And our leasing office tells us that tomorrow morning the repairman's gonna come and fix it. Since it's such a new apartment, it's under warranty. So we can't touch it or do anything to fix it. We have to wait for some special guy to come and do it. So it'll be five days now that we've had no air conditioning. The worst part about it is that here in the Western United States, there's a lot of forest fires right now. So the air quality outside is bad. Like it's smoky. So this afternoon we were sitting in the living room and I opened the window. I was like, oh, it's actually not bad outside. I opened the window. Within seconds, I could smell the smoke just coming into the house. And it just smelled bad. So I had to shut the windows right away. We, and tonight, tonight it's like in the 60s outside. It's perfect. But we can't sleep outside. We can't go outside because the weather's so bad. Like on the news, on the weather report, they talk about how bad the air quality is here. So unfortunately, even though the temperature is in our favor, the air quality is not so bad. So uh, we're doing everything we can right now to get the temperature down and, well, probably just keep it at 80 degrees for tonight. It's gonna be a long night for me and the baby. Kylie takes the heat pretty well. She's not too bad, but the baby and I just do not like it at all. So hopefully we get that fixed tomorrow, but I'm gonna keep working, see what I can do. Uh, keep working on projects tonight that I'm working on. Um, but it was a rough day today for me. It, the heat really bothered me again. I don't know why, but the heat this summer is just really getting to me. And the baby too. The baby was just warm all day, but thankful for the visitors we had. We had a great dinner tonight with some friends about a possible opportunity with them um, that we're gonna consider. But it was a great day all together. So we, uh, Appreciate the growth. We have more and more fans on Facebook every day. Thank you for that. Um, and more subscribers on YouTube. Slowly but surely, we are gonna grow this channel and this vlog, and we're gonna keep bringing you the content every day. Uh, we made it over two weeks now with daily content, and we're gonna keep it up just for you. We appreciate you, everything you do, and uh, we wish you the best until tomorrow. See you later.